Isn't this lovely? I, I wasn't expecting carpet. I was expecting... Well, I don't know what I was expecting. Not carpet. Peggy, relax. Well, what an interesting chair. You know, when I'm sitting in a chair, I never know quite what to do with my head. So this, this is wonderful. Thank you. Mm. It's from Brookstone. Mm. The whales sing of joy and sorrow, of gain and loss, like Leanne Rhymes. Uh, there. Now lie quietly for as long as you want, while I copy both sides of your insurance card. Yo, Peggy's gonna have a hard time replacing Doyle Harkavy. That guy's amazing. I mean, you look at his picture in the paper, he never gets a day older. Well, she has to mail in a sample column this week, but she'll muse circles around him if she can just get past her headaches. Well, those headaches are good as gone. Peggy went to John Redcorn for a healing. What? Don't worry. Old John R. will fix her up just like he does for Nancy three times a week. No, oh, Hank, I'm sure Peggy's headache is nowhere near as serious as Nancy's. Ooh, man, I tell you what, man, you don't, don't want to, I can't even, don't want to with yo. Don't worry about Peggy. She does not have the same kind of medical condition that's causing Dale's wife to uh, suffer unduly. Where is she? Everything is beautiful in its own way. Like this. Oh, hi, Hank. Uh, hey, Peggy, I guess dinner's gonna be a little late tonight, huh? Oh, yep. I just had a headache session with John Redcorn. He lit some sweet grass, and then I drifted off. The next thing I knew, I felt fan for Reekantastic. Well, good. Your headache's gone. Then I guess you're all done with John freaking Redcorn. Oh, no, this is just the beginning. I have already scheduled another treatment for next week. Peggy, I don't know how some guy rubbing your neck helps your head. I mean, what's the connection? Ooh, my reporter's instincts tell me someone's a little grumpy without his dinner. <gasps> Hi, I just got my first musing. My husband calls me his better half because I better have dinner on the table when he gets home. <laughs> I'm gonna go write that up while it's still fresh. What's wrong, Uncle Hank? Nothing's wrong. It's good news. Peggy had her headache cured by John Redcorn. <gasps> Stop that. Put your face back the way it was before somebody sees you. What's wrong, you man? Nothing's wrong, Bobby. Now go play outside. Dinner's gonna be a little late. <gasps> Hank, would you like a beer? This is not a social call, John Redcorn. I think I know why you're here. Your wife came to me with a headache. A real headache. Her head actually hurt. I know that, but as I recall, that's how it started with Nancy Gribble. Hank, you are my friend. I promise you, I would never heal your wife in the way that I heal the wives of others. You better not, because if you lay one unprofessional hand on Peggy, I'm gonna kick your ass. I will. Oh, 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 my, oh my lord! Oh, Hank, I got it. They are giving me the musings column. Oh, thank God. You got the job, the pressure's off, no more headaches, right? Are you kidding? I have weekly deadlines now. I'm gonna have to schedule a regular night with John Redcorn. What? No, you don't need John Redcorn to get rid of a headache. Here, oh. I'll give you a massage. Well, uh, ow, ow. Uh, just let me know where you really need it. That's my kidneys. Breathe. Picture a wide open field. Throw some uh, birds in there uh, if you want. Hank, stop it. You're just pinching and slapping and poking me. What is it that you have against John Redcorn? Don't make me say it. 